If you'll show the enemy, he cannot defeat you. God will show you that he can help you. And we had a tremendous service. I drove down today and I said that was a week I call. I don't want to go back to that building. I don't want our people to be, have to be depressed like that ever again. I don't want the enemy to triumph over us like that, even taking our building from us. It's time that God gave us something else there. So I noticed a building off to my right, and I drove in there, and it said a quilting store, and I knew I didn't have any need of quilts at this time in Florida. Uh, and so I thought, well, what would there be that I'm here for? Not these quilts, I'm sure. So I walked down a little further, and another sign said, uh, Baptist Church Mission, and I thought, well, that's good. Christians meet here. The next door said, uh, Iglesia Pentecostal. <laughs> and I thought, my Holy Ghost turn over. <laughs> The word Pentecostal stirs me up. Uh -huh. And the word Iglesia, I don't know much Spanish, but I know Iglesia means the church. Yes, yes. There. There's a telephone number on Now, well, if they speak Spanish, we're not going to have much of a conversation because I don't have any of my interpreters with me. Yeah, yeah. But I call my interpreter. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Ferris. He's been with me nearly 40 years interpreting for me. I said, Brother Ferris, here's a phone number, call and see what this is all about because I was standing outside that building and there's a reason for us to be there and God is leading us. In the meantime, while I was waiting on him to call, the Holy Spirit said, go down further. And I went down further. Here's this lovely brick building with four white columns out front, very stately looking, colonial looking not large but beautiful and uh, I saw a sign on it a heating and air conditioning business but then I saw or that is extermination business pardon me uh, but they were out of business and below it was a broker sign saying call us interest in this building so I called the lady she was I'm only 15 minutes from there I'll show you the building and the Lord said to me it may be that you'll have this now or it may be this is for your future. However it is, there's a reason you're standing outside this building. Yes. And the lady came, very nice lady, her husband's a doctor, she's a broker, and she opened the building up and went to, it used to be the Charlotte County State Bank, and now it's been used by an extermination company, another, uh, but it's a lovely building inside just, I could envision the church. <laughs> yeah. of course. I walked through it, God. and I, I was excited. And she said, we'll email you the price we want on it and the schematics of the building. <laughs> We're waiting on that now. But in the meantime, he called. <laughs> and then he called me back, and he said, Brother Marlowe, it's exciting. I talked to the pastor's wife, wasn't it, of this Pentecostal Iglesia church. And, and she said, I said, ask them, I have a fleece out, would they be interested in us coming over Thursday night, just involving ourselves in worship with them, and they'll let us sing and testify, and we'll just be one with them, we'll have a time. And we can use their building with them until God shows us the next step. Well, if you know churches, that just doesn't happen. They sing about unity and they talk about unity. And they talk about breaking down walls and all of that. But try sometimes talking to an opposite pastor or an opposite church about using their facility. And sometimes you'll have quite a reaction. Because churches like to the feel they possess, and it's theirs. And everybody else wants out. So he said, she was so excited. She said, we would be delighted to have you folks. 
We are, we, we've been looking for somebody to worship with us and fellowship us. So guess what? Thursday night we're going to be on Chamberlain Boulevard in, in Northwest Port Charlotte meeting people we've never met before and the doors are open and I wonder what the Lord's going to do next. And right down the street is a stately, colonial type brick building and we're waiting on God to answer that. You see, God is not standing still. So I'm not going to say it, Julie. Oh, that's exciting. This is the church. We are the church. Brother Rhodes preached tonight on 2014 being a year of America. He didn't just preach it, I believe it. He just didn't say it, I believe it. Because we are a church of miracles. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. We are a church yes, we of are. power. Praise God. Amen. Got back in my car. Spent about two hours, three hours there. And the Lord had led me. I said, thank you, Lord. Because you don't go anywhere and do what God wants you to do without him opening the door. And then he opens another door. And he opens another door. Yes, he does. I want every one of you tonight to feel like God is going to open doors for this ministry and for you and your family and this church, not because we're anybody. You know what my initials stand for? Just plain love. JPN. But Jesus is everything. Yes, he is. He's all and all. So I don't know if I picked this little melody up this one or not, but you're here tonight. God wants to do that miracle for you yes, in this Eve service, just a few hours removed from part of the eternity we've never been. Did you realize he's taking you out of eternity tonight into eternity? Yes. You'll never again live 2013. He's going to remove you permanently from your familiar surroundings. He's going to put you in a new year and there's a new hope. And there's a new direction. And there's a new spirit. Praise, Praise the name of the Lord. I don't want to stay in the old. I want to go where the new is. There's always something about rearranging furniture in our house. I like it when Sister Marlowe uh, rearranges the furniture. It doesn't bother me. I don't like to see things stay the same. I like to see a challenge. I like to see the move of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Try it, read out there, uh, uh, his robe. 